Hey guys, welcome back to <laughs> India's channel. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, today, today we are redoing our first date from each other's perspective. Yes. Uh, so we went on a date. Our very first date, we were set up on a blind date by a man named Adam, the mysterious Adam. <laughs> shout um, out Adam. Shout out to you, Adam. Better be watching. And um, we just tried to recreate it in like a funny way. And it's legit. Like this is actually what we were thinking. Like we were dying laughing filming this um, because it's it's very real. It's not exaggerated. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy. Um, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, comment down below, letting us us. You want me to say it? Comment down below. <laughs> comment down below, letting us know your first worst date. Yeah, worst first date. Um, it could still work out. Yeah, it, look at us. Yeah, exactly. So, anywho, enjoy the video, and yeah, I mean, some of the things are a little bit exaggerated, but in general, it's pretty much how the first date went down from our perspectives. So, yeah. Okay. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram. Oh yeah, check out our Instagrams. Mine is at India Batson. Mine is at D Martinez two Z's and an underscore. Yeah, we're gonna need to fix that. It's All a right. mouthful. <laughs> Bye. All right, time to start getting ready for this date. Let me put some deodorant on and let me check my eyebrows. My eyebrows are a little, yeah, nah, they look great. My favorite go-to shirt, you know, the ladies love this shirt. Really squeezes my muscles. And, uh, you know, I'm feeling pretty confident about this date. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how she is and if I'm feeling her. But I'm sure she'll be feeling me because, you know, who doesn't? Okay, I'm just gonna put a little bit of blush on, and I think this jack this jacket looks cool, right? Like I think this looks like a cool look. Um, I'm gonna put my hair in a ponytail. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna leave it like this. Okay, shoot, I am already late. Amazing. Uh, hey, I'm running a little late. I'll see you there soon. Should I put a smiley face? Yeah, I'm gonna set it. Okay. Okay, going in. Oh, wow, he's cute. Okay, now I feel like an idiot. We're going for a hug. So how do you know Adam? I actually met Adam. Um, we didn't interview Yeah, I already know how you met Adam, but I needed to ask you something, I guess, to break the ice. Oh, crap. There is a baseball game above her head on the TV. I need to listen to her and watch baseball at the same time. So how do you know him? So I met Adam right when I moved to Atlanta. And, what um, the heck is going on? What does he keep looking at? Where? What is he looking at? Okay, this literally never happens to me. This is this is really weird. Okay, cool. So what high school did you go to? So I actually grew up in Miami, so I went to school down there and um, I went to a Christian school for the for my whole life basically. And uh, got kicked out of there when I was like a junior in high school. So I ended up graduating from a, a public school. And uh, I mean, it was all right. I liked the public school way better than the Christian school. Yeah, this isn't gonna work. Okay, can I have the pork carnitas, um, the chorizo, and the southern BLT? Okay, thank you. Okay, could I get one chicken and one uh, vegetarian taco, please? Thank you. Um, yeah, I actually don't eat red meat. I just eat like chicken and veggies and stuff like that. Oh yeah, uh, my aunt's a pescatarian. So you want to go get some ice cream across the street? Yeah, okay, let's go. Aw, he's opening the door. Okay, okay. Point one for the night. Can I have a small cup of the peanut butter, please? Um, can I get the mint chocolate chip, please? Ugh, mint chocolate chip? That's kind of gross. I kind of want to try his ice cream. He hasn't offered me any yet, so... Hey, do you want any? It's really good. Nah, thanks. All right, guess I'm not getting any today. Yeah, so I'm looking I'm looking for a husband. Like, I'm not looking for one literally tomorrow, obviously, but I mean I'm not here to waste my time, you know what I'm saying? Okay, I guess I'll have to return the ring then. Tell me a little bit about your W9 401k. What's your 5, 10, 15 year plan look like? Do you have career goals? Do you know our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ? What's your physical history look like? Do you want to talk about that? Man, this girl's intense. I feel like this is a job interview, not a date. Okay, well, it was really nice meeting you. Um, thank you for 
ice cream and dinner and everything and maybe we could talk s another time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. It was it was nice meeting you, definitely. I mean, I think that kind of went well. She's pretty intense, but she is good looking, so I'll give it a shot. Okay, he hasn't texted me yet. I usually get a text like kind of right afterwards saying it went well. They are asking for a second date. What did I do? All right, it's us again. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching all the way till the very end. Um, so the next day. The next day I texted her and uh, had to make her wait for it for a little bit. And uh, you know, it worked. Set the hook in a couple days. Can't well, set it right away, you know? Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, I thought it was rude. I thought he should have texted me like immediately. And I texted Adam, who was the one who set us up on the date, and I was like, I don't think he's that into me. Like, I feel like this was just like, I don't know, I feel like he just thought of me as a friend because he didn't like touch my arm or like, I don't know. You gotta keep him guessing. Trust me, guys. The guys that are watching this, keep him guessing. <laughs> And same for the girls. Same for the girls. Okay, yeah, that's true. If it, Keep the guy guessing. That's very fair. Keep him on his toes. Don't be like, oh, I love you. Okay. All right, thank you for watching. Until next time, we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.